Bam. Oh yeah. Come here. Oh, I'll get that thing out of your face if you come here. Yeah, average crappie I've been catching today. 10, 11 inches. He's about 10 and 5 eighths. Bam. Limeade. Yeah, limeade grub. Bam. Bam. There's another one. Look at that. There's another one on the limeade. The limeade, guys, is, have become one of my favorite colors. Even in the, the remelt limeade, some of y'all have bought it and went, bam. You know, we're catching fish on it. going, yep. I know it works. I, I keep going back to Glenn. I told him the other day, and y'all see the comment, I told him, I said, uh, you coming down? He, he come, he's got a, a camper, guys, on the other end of the lake. It's a good ways by water. It's a long way. It's probably 16 miles. By land, it's probably that far. At least it, it takes me about it take me about 20, 25 minutes to drive down to where he's where his camper is from here. All right. But he came up and met me one day, right here here at Holly Grove, uh, and and we fished in the the underwater bridge right here behind me. It's, it's down there, guys, at that at the road. Uh, we pulled up there, there was some fish there, and I pulled the limeade uh, LC shad out. <laughs> I'll never forget the look on his face. He looked at me like, you gonna throw that bright green thing? And I threw it out there and caught two or three in a row. And he said, at the end of that, we went in. And I said, he said, well, I have to say, I was surprised you started catching on that limeade. Yeah, it's something about that lime. You wouldn't think they would hit it. I mean, it's bright green. It's, I don't know, but they like it. Damn. Oh, they're getting smaller on me. Getting smaller. He'd be lucky if he's he'd be lucky if he's seven inches. Bam. Alright guys, I want to show y'all what I'm catching them off of. I found this about two years ago. And I stopped here every now and then. I was coming in just now. I thought, let me stop and let me stop and check this spot out. See if it has any fish on it. And they're here sometimes. And honestly, it's not much here to, to hold them. Well, he nailed it. That's at the beginning of his crushers. Got it. He's about 10. All right. Y'all think they like that lime made color? Let me show y'all. I got why well, I'm stopped here. Right there. <laughs> that's all it is. That's all it is. I'm gonna say it was either a cedar tree and all the limbs have rotten off of it, right? Uh, make sure y'all can see that from the shade. Or uh and you can see it's only a couple fish, like that's a fish. There's a couple of the bars. Some little ones here at the bottom. I think that's what last come I let it drop. That's it. That's all is there. But it's in 21 foot as you can see. Uh, I would think these people put it out years ago, and I was, I'm going to say it was a cedar tree at one time. That's my guess. The other guess, I would say they took a they took a 4 by 4 post and put it in cement and maybe uh, nailed some 2 by 4s coming off up in different angles. That's what I would have done if I lived there. I would have made something like that. I would have put a couple of them out here, you know. It's something like that, and it, it, some of them have rotted off, but it doesn't take much to hold a fish. I've cut them off these buoy markers. I've cut them off the weights that holds the buoy markers. Sometimes it doesn't take much. If it's a spot they like, they like the depth right here where it's coming down, the bank's dropping. Again, you've heard me say this, and I said it in this another video today. I'm on my fourth video today, guys. This is a Tuesday evening. I said this uh, one other video. I made a video about dock, how to fish docks, and I didn't like it, and I deleted it all. I'm going to do it again Saturday or Friday. One of the things you look for is these steep banks. When you've got a steep bank like this, that's a, most of the time, not, not 100%, most of the time, that means the channel's getting close to this bank, right?
They're getting smaller, guys. We catch another nice one, and I'm going to quit. Oh, another small one. Cut some nice ones off that old tree stump. That's a baby. Come on, big boy. Gave up, did you? Huh. Some of them been fighting all the way. He gave up pretty fast. It's like, I got something in my face and I can't get rid of it. Maybe he's part possum. You know, y'all thought about that? He thought if he could play dead, he get rid of it. Uh-oh. This is what I don't like. Come on. This is how you mess up your, your grub. Or it came. You get in a certain place to get hooked there. And the... All right, guys. I'm going to call it right there. Bam. I'm going to say that's the end of it. Uh, that old tree right there gave me some fish. I'm way back in. He's about 10 inches. It's been good to me quite a few times, and I have stopped here, and there's nothing on it. That's why you, that's why you uh, find some places on the lake that you catch fish, and you go from one spot to the other. We call it a milk run, right? And you check them out. And sometimes there's fish there. If you don't have a live scope or a side finder, you know, I was talking to somebody the other day. I think it was Jamie was telling me he's finding them on his side finder. Same thing. You look at them as side finder. And then my live scope is, makes it easy because you sit there and move around and look, <laughs> you know, without uh, that. But... You know, I've said this before, and some, nobody's ever answered. What if you took a transducer from a side finder and put it on a pole and turn it turn it like that, you know, just put it flat size? Why couldn't you do that? I mean, it's on the back of the boat, and, and the boat's moving, so you moving it a little bit shouldn't hurt it. I don't know. I don't know if anybody's ever tried that. Uh, never thought much about it. It just crosses my mind every once in a while. But it could be a Jethro Bodine moment, if you know what I mean. All right, guys, appreciate y'all. Dennis, Fish and Lake Country. Check out Lake Country Baits. This line made colors on there and the hot tail grubs. There, I think there's 18 colors in the hot tail grubs. So, you bound to find something you like, something to work on your watercolor. Hey, uh, see you next time. Fishing Lake Country, Dennis.